Hello everybody again. Uh, how many people in the room listening to the business presentation for the first time this evening? So my name is Gary and my background before forever was I was a, a business owner for 15 years in the leisure industry. I had a Usman Arcades and Betton shops and it was reasonably successful up until around 2008 when the recession came. Uh, business took uh, a nosedive in terms of income but cost continued to rise and over the next couple of years that led to um, losing all the businesses we had. So that in turn led to myself and Gemma becoming interested in forever and seeing what it could do for us. And for me it was quite interesting because it's such a a low investment, more or less risk-free. You don't, you're not required to hold any stock, so it's quite a, an easy way for people to to come into business and, and build a strong business going forward. So I'm going to start off the presentation. So, as it says on the screen, you can't change your life if you don't change your thinking. So who is forever? The company was founded in 1978 in America. So, coming up to 38 years old. So for me that shows great stability uh, in the company because it's been going for such a long time. <coughs> we have an experienced long-standing management team, which again I think is quite important. As most people would know, it's been in the hands of the same family since day one. And that creates good stability going forward for us as individuals that there's not constant change, you know, there's no shareholders. If the management team was having to answer to shareholders, it could cause a lot of um, turbulence within the, the business. But for us, being family owned, it creates a lot of stability. During the last period, the turnover was 2.6 billion. So, there isn't too many companies in the world who would be turning over that type of that type of uh, income for me, it's really on a grand scale how big the company is. You know, we have assets of over 1.5 billion that cash rich and totally debt free. And that for me, when I looked into the company, was one of the important things that they had no debt. Um, virtually every country that they go into, they open up a head office which they fully owned. So that creates a lot of assets. And um, one of the most important things for me when I looked at the business originally, which you know, not a lot of people get at the outset is that Forever own all the plantations um, that grow the yellow. And the importance of that is they can, can always control the quality of the product. And more importantly, they can always control the price. So they're not held to the demands of outside growers where the price of the yellow will fluctuate, which in return could cause the products to fluctuate. Because they own all the plantations, they can control the price. So very rarely do we see the products increase. It's possibly only every two years you might see a very slight increase in the cost of the products. And that's because we're in control of it from start to finish. At the moment, they're operating in over 158 countries. And we operate in the health and wellness sector, predicted to be the next trillion dollar industry. And to be honest, the way talent has grown things, I have no doubt. So these are the global results of the business since 1978. And as you can see, it's a bit slow to catch up. One second. All the company has seen from the start in 1978 is continuous growth. So even during the turbulent times that we've experienced through different recessions since 1978, the company has only ever continued to grow. So that shows good signs. So we're on this slide showing the global results of the company since it began in 1978. And as you can see, it's only ever grown, which is a great sign, and that's what we expect to continue to do so. So who is forever in the Middle East? Been in the Middle East since 1999, so quite a long time. But for me, there's still an amazing amount of growth available because it's still so, I feel, unknown within the Middle East and there's so much expansion plans. Had sales in excess of 
11 million dollars. Member of the Direct Selling Association in Dubai, and also the longest running and largest network marketing company in the Middle East, and also the largest importer of health foods into the UAE. You know, we've got official social media accounts. Product centers open seven days a week. Khaled's standing 24 hours a day, some days also. <laughs> but I also can't sleep because they're too busy building the business. Also recently introduced was home delivery, which makes it a lot easier to order products and service your customers. Three new offices, which, you know, we're in one of the amazing new offices. And I know of lots more expansion to take place in the Middle East. So a growing market and will continue to do so and getting the proper service level now required to build a business on an ongoing basis. And there's a list of some of the, the local offices, which I think this slide is going to have to be updated quite often for the expansion plans that's in place for the Middle East. So what do we do? We're encouraged to use the products yourself, become your own best customer. This is a recommendation business, so it becomes a lot easier to be able to recommend the products to others if you're actively using the products yourself on an ongoing basis. So you should try to use the products as much as you possibly can, feel the benefit, and then it becomes a lot easier to speak about them and encourage other people to use the products also. Share the products with others. So if you've had a benefit from something, talk about it and tell somebody else. If you've done a clean nine and had good results, share those results with others and encourage them to do the same. And then we look to build a team. So we encourage people to find 20 to 30 regular customers and to find five key people who are looking to do the same as you. And that's how you build a stable business going forward. You know, there's fantastic training in place, I think. It's only going to get better in the Middle East as more training gets developed and talent brings more people on board to help with the training. So it will become easier to build a team. What is team marketing? Traditional retail, somebody will manufacture a product or grow a product and then it goes through a chain of events where you get the retail price at the end and all the way along everybody is taking a cut to get to the final price with forever, forever in control from the start. So as I said before, they're in control of the quality and the price. There's no middleman involved. They deliver the product directly into our hands as distributors. So it leaves quite a big margin in there for us to earn an income and build a business. There's two income streams available from your own direct retailing to your customers. And then when you build a team, you can access the second income stream. Uh, and that's what leads you to build a strong, stable business going forward, is the bigger your team grows, the less it's dependent on you. And that's what leads to willable income in the long term. So here's some of the benefits of team marketing. As I said before, it's uncapped and willable. So if you're really busy with lots of sales, nobody is ever going to ring you up and tell you to slow down and stop. So there's no cap on what you can earn. The income is willable as well, so when you get to the manager level and develop other managers, that's when you access a royalty style income, which I've never seen this before. So when you build a big business, you can leave that to your children in a trust fund that they get to 18 and then they can decide to carry your business on and forever will continue to pay that money. No questions asked for the reach 18. There's a full training and support system in place with a proven business building cycle. Keep the, the cycle simple, that's how it becomes duplicatable and people can build strong teams. You decide your goals and the system helps you to achieve them. When we come into business first, you know, they were very Americanized phrases and we kind of dismissed setting goals. And it's probably only in the, the last 12 to 18 months that me and Gemma have set real proper goals. And it's very powerful when you set proper goals because it gives you something to aim for and something to achieve. So it's very important to try to do that as early as you can in your business. 
and it's genuinely a global business opportunity. So we're based in the UK, but over the last two years we've started to receive checks from Australia, New Zealand, Dubai, Ireland, Spain. You know, myself and Gemma have never been to Australia or New Zealand, but we've introduced people into our team who knew somebody who knows somebody else based in Australia and New Zealand, and that leads to you receiving checks from countries you've never even visited. Chairman's bonus. The company puts a percentage of the global turnover into a pot, and it's there for all of us to try to achieve. Um, myself and Gemma in the first year were very lucky to go to Singapore in our first year in the business and achieve the check. Um, back then there was only two team members who qualified, and this year when we go to Johannesburg we've got over 11 of the team have qualified, so it shows how the business can grow in a short period of time and it's there for everybody to achieve. There's also a car plan incentive and global travel. So we get an opportunity to go to two destinations each year. Last year we went to Singapore and Cancun. This year it's going to be Johannesburg and Greece. And who knows where it'll be in the year after. And there's lots of recognition, prizes and fun. And while that might not seem important at the moment, a lot of people have been in jobs for a long time, 10, 15 years, and they've never really been recognised for it, what a good job they do. But in forever, you get recognised very quickly when you're doing a good job. And that continues for everything you do. The company never stops really recognising what a good job people do. I'm just going to hand over to Gemma now, who's going to take us through the next part of the presentation. Okay, so just before I start, I'll introduce myself and tell you a little bit about how I find myself here in Dubai talking about aloe vera, of all things. So, if you'd said to me two years ago, you'll run your own business from home and it will be in aloe vera, I would have said, no way. So, my background is in retail. I worked very happily for 15 years for a UK department store called John Lewis. Now in the autumn of 2013, out of the blue, I was rushed into hospital to have a minor operation. So it was nothing too serious, but I really enjoyed my job and I wanted to get back to work. So what I innocently did was I innocently Googled wellbeing products and this came up on the internet. So when I started to drink this lovely drinking gel, which I'm sure many of you use every day and adore the taste of it, um, it worked. It helped my well-being and it got me back to work. Now because I'm quite a nosy person, I wanted to know why I couldn't find that on the shelf of a retailer. Why was such a good product not available in a shop for me to buy? So when I took a look, at what you're looking at tonight and this business opportunity, I could see immediately a way that I could build a second business around my very full-time career, which was 50 hours a week. Most days I was on a road or a motorway for two hours, and I could see how I could change my life with this product. So I didn't have much time, but what I did have was a desire to change my life. I wanted to change some of the choices Gary and I had because we've had a pretty hard time with his business. So I invested about 10 to 15 hours every week following the really simple business cycle that Gary talked about. And as a result of that, within six months, I was matching my corporate salary. Now I'm not a risk taker, so I thought, oh, maybe this isn't going to keep going, it'll, it'll fall away, and it didn't. Six months after that, it was doubling my corporate salary. So as a result, I handed in my notice at work. It was a really considered decision. It was a tough one, but I believed so much in this company. So since March of last year, just March 2015, Gary and I have been working this business full time together. As Gary mentioned, it has totally changed our lives. We travel around the world now. We've got financial peace of mind that we've never ever experienced before. 
And we get to do what we're really passionate about, which is helping other people enjoy a business opportunity that can change their lives. So where we, we enjoy spending our time is helping other people to basically do what we do. And that's what we can show and coach them because we know how to do that. So it's my pleasure this evening to take you through more about the products, more about the business. So as you see on the screen, this is the really simple business cycle that we follow. It's as simple as, who do you know? And I'm guessing you all know some people, or you've got friends or family members. It's then sharing the product, showing more people the business opportunity and what you've got yourself really excited about, and us helping you plan their business. And there's lots of training and support to help you to do that. And that cycle is all we follow, day in, day out. So I travel that cycle about five times a day, and most of the business owners do too. So in terms of the value of your business, we have product, and we are in team marketing, so we don't advertise our product. The majority of that is all done by word of mouth. It's on the strength of your experience. Now, Rex Morn, our founder, always knew this was going to be a global opportunity. The head office is in Arizona, and Rex set up this company 38 years ago. But he always had a desire to take the product around the world. So to make it really simple, what he did was he developed his own currency. So rather than in every country, the, the products having their own value, he developed an internal currency called the case credit. So this works a little bit like the euro. If we were to go now and travel around Europe, it would be really easy in every country we would, we would go into. We'd use a euro and that euro value would be the same in every country. So in forever, we've got the case credit. So it doesn't matter whether I buy a bottle of drinking gel in Dubai or I buy it in the UK, it's worth the same case credit value. So in the Middle East, your case credit value is 500, sorry, 585 dirhams is what you buy it for. And then your recommended retail price, which you recommend to customers, is 835. So what that means for you is for every one case credit of product you sell, you're making, excuse me, 250 dirham cash in your hand. So the more case credits you retail, the more income you can generate. Now to build a really stable business, Forever ask us to do four case credits. So what you can see is you don't really need to do a lot to build a really healthy, strong business. It's just about sharing it with more people. So every product has a case credit value and it works no different to a point system. You make money, but the more points and case credits you gather, the bigger your business becomes and the more you can access from this amazing company. So you decide what you want to do. You can decide to become a retailer and if you become a retailer, all you're doing is using the products and sharing the products. You're having access to the product at a wholesale price and you can recommend on to make some money. Or maybe you want to become a team leader. So being a team leader is about building a small team. And that's when you're going to go out and find 20 regular customers who want to purchase some health and wellbeing products from you. And then you're going to find five people who want to get involved in the business to make some money, maybe just like you have. Or maybe you have a desire, just like Gary and I did, to build a large team. And we fall into the category now of business developers. We help people become great retailers, we help them become great team developers, and we show people to do exactly what we do. So just like any business, you can earn a different level of income from all of those areas. So if you want to share the products and to become a retailer, you can expect to earn anything from 900 to 1500 dirhams cash in hand per month. If you want to go on and build a small team, along with your retail income, 
you can expect to be earning anywhere from 3,600 to 9,000 dirhams per month. So this is building what we call a manager business. You can do this around a very busy family life and around a busy career. Most people do this 10 to 15 hours per week. Or maybe you want to go on to be that business developer, to have a small team that grows a bit larger. And if that's you, you can expect to earn anywhere from 9,000 dirhams to 90,000 dirhams per month. And there is a plus at the end of that, because as Gary said, this is an uncapped earning opportunity. So in my old job, it didn't matter how good I was, at running my shop for John Lewis department stores, there was a cap on my wage. In forever, there is no cap. So if your desire, sitting in the chair, is to earn 200,000 dirhams per month, that's fine. You just keep building your business a bit larger until you get to that amount. So you're in control all the time of how hard you work and how big you want your team to become. So in the business we have a marketing plan and this makes it really easy to be paid a pay rise and it makes it really easy to access a second level of income. So when you start in the business, you're either starting as a novice consumer or customer or you're starting as an assistant supervisor. Most people when they join decide to start as an assistant supervisor. And that's because they want to come into the business and make 30% profit immediately from the retail sales. So to do that, Forever and Khaled in the Middle East make that really easy for us. They put 29 of the best selling products in a box. They ask us to use them so we can have an opinion about the products and there's enough there for us to share. So when you do that, you get two of those case credits. And it means that you can make 30% profit and you can also access a 5% profit. Now as your business grows, maybe because you're retailing a large amount of product or maybe because you've introduced more people into the business, you can travel up to the stage of supervisor. And at that supervisor level, you can access a second income stream. Not only are you going to be paid on your own activity, you're going to be paid on your team's activity. So you never take away an earning opportunity from anybody else, but what Forever do is they recognise that you've helped somebody else come into the business and that's going to take a little bit of your time to show them what you did. So you can earn cash in hand, retail and profit, but you're now accessing the team leading bonus as well. And that team leading bonus can vary depending on how big you want to build your business. You can earn anywhere up to a personal bonus yourself of 18% on top of your 30. And your team leading bonus is always the difference between what your personal bonus is and what your team is. So you can earn a team leading bonus of anywhere between 3 to 13%. Which might not sound like a lot, but it is. And I'll show you why it is. So, let's just go through the stages. When you join the business and you decide to earn a 30% profit, cash in hand, you can expect every month to be earning around 334 dirham per month. When your business does 25 of those case credits, which isn't all down to you, this is group team volume now, you can expect to be earning on top of whatever you're making cash in hand, 384 dirham per month. As an assistant manager, you can expect to be earning 3,000 plus dirham per month on top of what you make cash in hand. And at manager, you can expect to be earning anywhere from about 4,500 dirham per month 
plus your cash in hand. And all that's changed is the team leading bonus. Your business just got a bit bigger and there's more case credits going through the business. The way forever recognise us as business owners and help us grow our income up to that royalty place that Gary described is we help more people join the business and get to that manager level. The more managers you help, the bigger your income becomes. So on screen you can see when you get to manager yourself and you help two people get to the manager position who you've personally introduced, you become a senior manager and you can earn anything up to 340,000 dirhams per month. A soaring manager is when you help five people get to that manager position just like you did and you can expect to earn anywhere between about 400,000 to 600,000 call it dirhams per month. Sapphire manager is when you can go up to 937,000 dirhams per month and then it starts to go into the millions when you hit diamond sapphire and diamond manager.